kind of quest I'm running on recruiting people, I guess. It's it's a what is this thing called? Well, now it's called when it gets cold, when the cold sets in. So it's um I'm not sure if this is still pre-patch. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, when it when the cold sets in. How many patches are there? Oh, okay. And Heaven's Ward's the good one, right? Mm. And that that one's mostly voice too, right? Gotcha. Right, because, yeah, when it's not voice, uh, makes it a little difficult. Yeah, they have a weird, like, dialogue. Not dialogue, I guess dialect. So, so, some of these people, yeah. Some of the characters. Mm-hmm. A weird British accent, eh? <laughs> weird British accent. No worries. I should have some coffee too at some point. I don't want to get super tired. Yeah. Three hours behind here. Nice. What's the max level now? Ninety. Yeah, I saw. I saw some eighties. I saw some eighties. Is Stormblood the last one? Okay, I thought so. Don't they have another one slated for, um, that's not out yet?
Right, hence the hence the graphical um, uplift. They can have some new big bad or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, I mean, you're going to space. The next thing is going to another planet. That's usually how it works. Yeah. Gotcha. Ooh, I kind of want to do that tacos. It makes me want tacos for some reason. Gonna get some good street tacos. That's just what you gotta get. So I'm gonna stream for about an hour. I'm gonna... In that time, I'm gonna recruit for about an hour and do some things in-game. Then I got a jet after that. <laughs> when the cold sets in. I'm running all around this place because the cold set in. I should can just teleport back to this place. So we'll do that. And the new housing that's going to be an iscard right the new housing that's going to be an ishgard right your return is most timely of their own accord, my thoughts had turned to your task and the progress thereof. I confess, my imaginings tended toward the grim and bloody. Okay. But you are here now, and I suspect such frivolous wonderings do little justice to the reality of your travails. Tell me, what did you learn of Iceheart? <laughs> Well, and, and thank you for that, too. And this transpired at Snowcloak. Of all the highlands, that towering wall has borne the worst of uh, I said, and thank you for that. Climate. So inhospitable has Snowcloak become that we have still to survey the area in its entirety. Mm -hmm. Could its frozen heights conceal the heretic's hideaway? Mayhap a more... Putting such considerations aside for the moment, we still know far too little of this ice heart. That she is so I have to go to a grand company and go to the grand company chest. Natural authority and no small oh. measure of charisma. I'll check that out. As much as I would like to fathom this mystery with you, the situation has grown beyond my personal purview. Mm. I am bound by duty Fair. to inform the Temple Knights and request that they bring this matter to its conclusion. Giving the glowing reports the new commander has garnered thus far, I am certain that they can be relied upon to take appropriate action. Though Iceheart's true identity yet eludes us, you have provided us with a point from which to begin. Sometimes it takes but a single stone to prompt an avalanche. On the matter of the stolen provisions, I have already made arrangements for a second shipment to be sent to Revenant's Tome. I could not well allow such an honorable venture to be undermined by one miserable setback. So 
speak with Archifont. I'm not even sure if that's how you say that name. A lot of names in this game. I'm not even sure if, how you, if that's how you say that name. Archifont. It's not a very elvish name. I said that that's not a very elvish name. <laughs> well, I'm not even sure if how I'm saying it's correct. This. Let me try this on. What is that? Ooh, I can't see it. Mm hmm. Eggnog. Hey, no. Oh, certain helmets just don't display on cat people. Or on, um, like cat people, but tiger people. Because, like, this one isn't displaying at all, I don't think. But this one will. And it seems like that's the one I want, anyway. Alright, um, I did get some nice costume stuff from that tower defense thing we did. Or not tower defense, um, that tower of doom or whatever. Yeah, House of the Dead. That actually was pretty good. Yeah, I got some pretty cool, um, uh, like, uh, costume gear. So I would say I got from that. It's a pretty cool costume gear. Brave new companions. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a lot of quest icons. Oh, and these are a lot of things that open up. I guess gameplay components, just all in that one area. Have to get to those eventually. Hand it over. to hand over so many things so many people. Okay. Ah, that's what it was. I remember someone telling me that back in the day. Probably either you or Sam. That's sure though. That's why I was leaving them alone. I remember at the, at the very beginning I was doing all of them when I first played the game. And I was like, I remember that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because I have a lot of them. Like even the beginning of the game where I'm like, I'm surprised I didn't do this one quest is right here. It's just like it will open up a new component of the game. I just didn't do it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, don't, don't go nuts with them. Yeah. Otherwise, you have nothing left. Okay. In, um... What's this place? In... Mordona, there are a lot in that inn there. Like a bunch of blue mar blue plus question marks. I haven't touched any of them. So I should probably like investigate them. What's that weird phrasing that some of these characters say? It's like some kind of like, thou hast thus, or something like that. And it's like, wait, what? Comrades, your presence here this day signifies the momentous choice that each of you has made. Yes. With your strength now pledged to the scions of the seventh dawn, you are beholden to no single nation. You stand as the vanguard for a united Eorzea. From this moment forth, I declare you crystal braves. Let us mend this fractured realm and face our enemies as one. Whether it be the Beastmen and their Primals, or the conflict in Cartano, it is plain that the nations of Eorzea cannot solve the problems which plague the realm. Thus does it fall to some few heroic souls to succeed where they have failed. Come, take your place at the Scion's side as guardians of Eorzea, and together we shall fight for the freedom of all! For the oh, he just gave him the for the freedom of all salute. She did it too. A rousing speech, Alphano. Or should I say, Crystal Brave Commander Leverieux? Yeah. Please, Antecedent, the title is honorary. I shall not be leading the troops into battle, as it were. We are of the same purpose. Let us join hands and do what must be done to save this land. I thought the, the short elves were like twins. I haven't seen the girl in like a long time in the story. Where does she go? I just realized that. The Scions stand ready. About what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm eager to see what the Crystal Braves might accomplish. So she pretty she much pulled a page from Fleetwood Mac. Got it. Yes, I'm listening. So our worst fears are confirmed. The entire Ion. Can I do that? Such power defies comfort. Can I still jump to people? No, I haven't. Truly? Kryal is alive? Thank the Twelve. I see. Pray, inform me if her condition changes. Yes, I shall pass on your words to Uriange. My thanks. I shall contact you anon. When I learned of the loss of the Isle of Val, I dared not hope that my friend had survived. Yet, by some miracle, it would seem she has. She's still to regain consciousness, it is true, but better that than death. Putting this happy news to one side, we must now endeavor to make sense of the readings taken by the survey party. Readings? Survey party? Oh. The disturbance which accompanied the Isle's destruction is of a magnitude alarmingly close to that of Ultima. Could the Asians be responsible for this devastation as well? I keep thinking there's a way for my graphics to be improved, but I'm not entirely sure. Is there a setting somewhere that I'm missing? It just feels like it, just because like when I get really close to my character in some of these cutscenes, or other characters, I can see the pixelation in the textures. Is that supposed to happen, or...? Yes. Right. I wonder. Yes. Have you yeah, heard I... art from the Mother Crystal since the battle with the Gallians? Oh, you're right. Mm-hmm. Then she speaks to neither one of us. Hydaelyn's <laughs> silence portends not but ill, I fear. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, they... Uh, is it going to change? Okay, good, because I was going to say, you know, because I, I briefly took a look at Final Fantasy X again, briefly. And um, Kumari, who is a Rothgar, they don't have humanoid feet. And they don't have feet like the Makoto or whatever, or, 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 or the Makota. They have, like, um, panther feet. So they have the whole uh, Digitrod thing going on. They stand on the balls of their foot, like, you know, with, like, with, like their, like, clawed toes. They're like that. They, they don't have human-like feet, so. Louis mm. I pray you yet watch over us. Hmm? Correct, I see what you're saying. That's good. That character update sounds like it'll be really good. Aorzia defended.
Oh, and the Philly guys have more problems. Okay, what's next? Trailer, Trader in the Mets. Trader in the Mets. Yeah, I want to use that mug, but at the same time, I want to preserve it, like, forever. <laughs> ah, that's true. But yeah, it's, it's cool. I like it. to you, Sire. How might we serve you? <laughs> Not bad. Commander <laughs> Levier, yeah, it looks good, it does. These are welcome tidings indeed. Given the sensitive nature of the task, I could not rely on one of my own. Oh, really? Okay, good. Because I was just going to hand wash it. Yeah, okay. Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my thing. These dishwashers can get crazy. That which I'm about to tell you, I tell you in the strictest confidence. What's he gonna tell me? Some days ago, we received certain documents from an anonymous source. They notified us of the presence of a Garlean agent within the ranks of one of the Grand Companies. Following some... Alas, the man was not our agent. He was but one of many men in the agent's employ. We pressed the traitor for a name. But he had none to give. He claims never to have met his master, whom he knows only as the Ivy. He was, however, certain that this Ivy had coiled itself around every part of the immortal flames. Mm -hmm. It would seem our quarry joined the company some time ago and gradually recruited others to his cause. These conspirators are the vines by which he learns our secrets, all without exposing himself. <laughs> it won't be easy to identify the ivy amidst this tangled mass of subterfuge, but we have a tendril in our hands, and we shall follow it all the way to the gnarled root. Now, much as I would prefer to proceed with due discretion, circumstances demand that this matter be settled post haste. Garlemald's war of succession nears its end, and it is feared that the Empire will soon resume its march on Eorzea. Smart. It's not a bad idea. Popping some merch. When it does, we can ill afford to have traitors in our midst. The ivy must be rooted out now. We must begin by apprising General Roban of our findings. I would ask that you accompany mm. me to the Hall of Flames. That was a good call, yeah. He must, I think, works a lot better on here. Assuming the Ivy's tendrils are as widespread as we believe, he will be aware that an investigation is underway. And if that is the case, he may well move against us. Oh, oh the Fluffy Cats? We must be prepared for anything, while taking care not to betray mm -hmm. our purpose by seeming prepared. A simple enough task for a mm -hmm. one-man army like you. Huh.
Are they aware of it? Are they going to fix it? Okay. you here my friend yeah I did see you guys in the bunnies for a while he is here at my behest greetings Roban it has been a while <laughs> Hilbert you old scoundrel when they told me you'd be visiting I scarce believed my ears But look at you, the honored captain of the Crystal Bloody Braves. Who'd have imagined, eh? Honored captain, Not indeed. Many, but fewer still would have imagined your destiny lay in politics, old friend. Aye, we've both come far, have we not? In Lest the name wonder, of the bunny. Hilbert and I go back a long way. We've been friends and rivals since we were lads. So are these people British or... The last time we saw <laughs> they kind of hop around. Amigo had just fallen, so you can guess how many summers it's been. And in all that time, not a word from the fool. Hmm. Ah, well, my dealings tended toward the modest and mundane. Unlike some I could mention. As I hear it, no sooner did you reach Thanaland than the brass blades clapped you in irons and dragged you off to die on the blood sands. Being a stubborn sort, you won a thousand matches and earned yourself a place in the people's hearts while you were about it. A rags to riches story? Then, with your mountain of prize money, you bought the Colosseum and secured a seat on the Syndicate. Those balls, brother! Rags to riches does not do it justice. You're a hero to the common man. Oh wow. He said rags to riches too. Jinx. Bah. Spare me. I am no hero. If anyone is worthy of that title, it's our friend here. Next to him, I'm little more than a glorified butcher. But you, Wilbert, you sell yourself short. By all accounts, you are an adventurer of some standing. I like to think that I did my part for the greater good. But if you're no hero, then I'm no adventurer, not in this company. Anyway. I have tidings. So there has been progress. I've let it be known that this meeting is a reunion between old friends. None will give your visit a second thought. To convene elsewhere would only attract attention. Let us speak here, in plain view of all. Is that even smart? So it is we who have been compromised. Teleji Adeleji's machinations have shaken Uldar to her foundations. In such uncertain times, a man's loyalty may be bought for a fistful of gill. Teleji Adeleji. It sounds like a magician name or something. Like a well, bad magician out of Las Vegas. Been in our midst for as long as you say. We must needs consider a far graver possibility. Conspiracy. Could it be that the monetarists have been in league with the Empire from the first? Very well. 
I will have my most trusted men investigate the matter. Continue I was saying, Telegi Adelegi. That name sounds like it's a magician, like a bad one from out of Las Vegas or something. It's a, it's one of the potato people that sit on the council of Uldah. They're named Teleli Al Al Jedi. I I don't know. I, whatever I just said. <laughs> I look forward to it. Let us reminisce of bygone days, and drink to the future mm -hmm. of our homeland. Oh, I thought she was going to fight him or something. I'm not sure what that was about. <laughs> Just like marched off to the side suddenly. Flame General. You wear the mantle well, old friend. I must work hard if I'm to keep up. Okay. I think I've seen one of those. That name sounds familiar. I dare say we have mm. Roman's prudence to thank for that. Still, I was glad of your presence. My thanks, Sion. Oh, got in some gear. Let's see what's here. Oof. Try on. Try on. Try on. Well, none of them are upgrades, so I'll do this. Well, are they upgrades? No, they're not upgrades. I'll do this one. Okay, there's one thing I needed, though. Gonna do a little bit of the shouting. All right, back and forth, no doubt. That's what I've been doing this whole time, just going back and forth. Where's that chest while I'm here, by the way? Oh, here we go. Chess. Okay, I just write in here. Okay, cool. Um, how much skill do I have? Let me just do 100k for now. Oh wait, I messed that up. One more zero. Okay, did I talk to that guy for back and forth? Oh, I didn't. He's still here. Oh, this is a voice. I can skip this. Oh, 
It's like right outside. Let me go over there. Always seen this freaking um trial up. Not trial. What are these things called again? Uh, you know what I mean. Not trials. Fates or whatever. Oh, we see this one up. Wasn't I just here for the main story quest? Like, why am I back? Ooh, I, I sense a hostile presence, huh? Yeah, what's up? Did I get fat cat? What do you mean? Oh, from the store? No, I didn't get those. I, I, don't, I haven't bought any mouse from the store, I don't think. I'm, I'm outside of uh, that uh, one from Final Fantasy VII, the motorcycle. Yeah, I've had the motorcycle one ever since the first time I played. Or maybe the second, since the second time I came back. Because I'm pretty sure I had it when we all had that like four-person car from the other Final Fan Fantasy. Yeah, I remember you were telling me that, that that mount... It's like a special mount. I didn't even know. I didn't even know it could do that. That's that's my other thing too. Until you said that, I had no idea.
Such a weird thing. Such a weird thing, actually. Like, you wouldn't even, like, you wouldn't even know, I don't think, unless you, like, unless someone told you. This realm does not need any more marbles. A dead dragon? I don't think I've been to this side.
That was pretty cool. Let's do that one. Nice. I have, to start, I have to start doing that gold saucer stuff. So you gain points for each session then. How often is it... Oh, yeah, I was going to say, how often does it do it? Okay, every week. Are there haircuts just that you, that you can only get in game? Hmm. That's odd. Have faith, my friend. You need only state your case with confidence and clarity. Commander Leveilleur, it is both an honor and a pleasure to meet you. I am Emma. Alfino Leveilleur, at your service. Your...
Speaking of reputations, yours towers over us all. Does it not? It does indeed, Lord Commander. I am not too proud to admit that I have followed your activities with an interest bordering on fascination. Full gla- Now then, shall we begin? We know full well that the Garleans will return in force ere long. What is more, we have yet to achieve a lasting victory over the Primal Menace. The Beast Tribes continue to summon their gods, and each incarnation is stronger than the last. Ishgard is not immune to these threats. I must reiterate that it would behoove your nation to rejoin the Aorzean Alliance. Once again, I must respectfully disagree. On what grounds? Despite their presence in Kurthus, the Ixil do not concern us. Their territorial claims pertain to Gridanian lands, and it is the people of Gridania whom they harry. Consequently, the Holy See judges this to be a Gridanian affair, and Ishgard does not intervene in the internal affairs of other nations. Even were that not the case, our forces are wholly committed to the Dravanian conflict. We have not the knights to spare. As for the Garleans, we are not ignorant of history. We have observed the rise and expansion of the Empire, and we agree that it is only a matter of time before they resume their campaign in Aeors. Then surely it would be in our best interests to present a united front. Mayhap one day, but not yet. Gaius van Belsar is dead, and the legion of conscripts he left behind lacks the will to fight. We think it highly unlikely that they will emerge from behind the walls of their castra for some time. Forgive me, but if Ishgard's position has not changed, why did you agree to this meeting? It was not only as a representative of Ishgard that I came here. Pardon? It is not within my power to change Ishgardian policy, regardless of my personal feelings. There is, however, one area in which I may exert a measure of influence. Concerns have been raised over the supplies House Fortin has offered to Revenant's Tor. These have led to calls for restrictions on the provision of aid to foreign powers. I can ensure that the shipments continue unabated. Sir Emmerich, we would be in your debt. No, you would not. 
for I require something in exchange. Of late, there has been a flurry of Dravanian activity, the purpose of which... However, our astrologians have since observed alarming changes in the heavens. I have to jump off the after this and get ready for a meeting I have to bright. participate in. And there are whispers that it portends the resurrection of Midgard Sorma. The fallen guardian of silver... Yeah, it was good. Falls? That's absurd. Hopefully I can get some more time to do more some, do, some, do more stuff with a more flexible schedule. I've had kind of like IRL and work dovetailing into each other for this ever since like uh, mid January. Yeah, busy schedule. I do not know. And I do not wish to know, nor does any son of Ishgard. Yet the mere presence of Dravanian forces is not sufficient grounds to send knights to Mordona, whatever our astrologians say. As I told you before, we have not the forces to spare. But we do. So you will intervene on our behalf if we agree to watch over the Keeper of the Lake. Do you accept these terms? I do. I will see that you are kept abreast of any developments. I regret that we could not come to a similar agreement on other matters. But I understand that you are not at liberty to make such decisions. Nevertheless, I hope that what we have accomplished here today will serve to demonstrate to your countrymen that we can work together towards a common goal. Mayhap one day we shall look back on this moment as the first step towards a united Eorzea. Mayhap we shall, Commander. What is the meaning of this? The caravan, my lord. It's been attacked. It was Iceheart, my lord. What? By the fury! All our precautions were for naught? Those. That was a long cutscene, but I gotta run. And, um, I know, right? Especially when they decide to voice them. Alright, with well, you guys, take it easy. I'll be back later.